Sleek and silent, the SR-71 Blackbird, this one of 15 standing proud in museums across America. Its key capability, its speed. It remains the fastest air-breathing manned military jet ever built, its world record set in 1976, 2,193.2 miles per hour or Mach 3.3. It all starts here at Lockheed's so-called Skunk Works, so what triggers its creation? It's the Cold War. The U-2, effectively a glider with a jet engine and a sophisticated camera, is America's untouchable surveillance aircraft. It flies at 70,000 feet, while out of range of Soviet missiles. That all changes on May 1, 1960, when a USSR surface-to-air missile explodes, bringing down the U-2, piloted by Gary Powers. Altitude is no longer any protection, so attention turns to stealth and speed. The U-2's designer, Clarence Kelly Johnson, comes up with various designs, just as he did with the U-2 program, culminating in the SR-71 Blackbird. As well as flying at 85,000 feet, it cruises at speeds of Mach 3.2 and can survey up to 100,000 square miles of territory in just one hour. Its stealthy design reduces its radar signature and if fired upon, it can simply outfly its assailant. The Blackbird's Pratt & Whitney J58 engines are designed to operate continuously in afterburner to facilitate crews at supersonic speeds. It will go on to perform reconnaissance for the US Air Force for more than 30 years. Flying its first operational missions over Vietnam, it goes on to gather crucial intelligence during the 1973 Yom Kippur War, the Israeli invasion of Lebanon and its aftermath, and the 1986 raid conducted by American Air Forces on Libya. Its supersonic reign is ended by the age of space-based surveillance systems and next-generation air defense systems. SR-71 operations are suspended in 1989, and for good, in 1998, after a brief revival in the mid-1990s, including research work with NASA. Stuart Rumble, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.